Hi, welcome to my channel Rubia Stedman. Today I'll be teaching you how to knit this beautiful shawl. It's done with the armor stitch. It's very easy to do and it looks amazing. This is the right side of the shawl and this is the wrong side of the shawl. So you can wear uh, your shawl whichever side you like. They look different, even they are done with the same stitch and the right and wrong side, but by working with a different size needle, it will give you a total different stitch in both sides. So uh, the color in here look more mute, that in this side and this side look more vibrant the color. I don't know why but it does. So I hope you guys like it and give it a try. And here is the list of material you're gonna need to make this beautiful shawl. If you're not already a subscriber please subscribe and click on the little bell that way you get notification each time I upload a video. Remember I make my videos in Spanish and English. If you receive a Spanish video and you want to see in English, go to the main page of my YouTube channel that you'll find the English version in there. To make this shawl, I'm gonna use this yarn. It's the Lufthansa's Red, washable wool, blurred blur lines. It's 75% uh, washable wool, 25% nylon. Uh, the color is uh, unicorn party. So depend on the size of uh, that you want your shawl. You can use one and a little bit of another one if you want it bigger than mine. Okay, because for mine I use only one ball. The netting needles you're gonna use two different sizes: a seven millimeter and a four point five. You can use a straight needle, you can use circular needle, interchangeable circular needle, that you can put the 7 millimeter in one end and the 4.5 on the other end. If you don't have this type of circular needle and you have this type, you can place the, one of these cap at the end of your needles and then you work like this, okay? So you're going to need two different size needles in order to do this shawl. Now if you're using different type of jar, you're going to do this. If it's a fine tool like this one, you continue with the 7 millimeter, but it's a little bit thicker. You'll need to change the size of this one to a bigger size. Uh, this one stay the same. Okay. Uh, you're going to need a measurement tape if you're using a different type of yarn because uh, for this one with one ball is enough to do the same size as mine if you want it bigger and then you use another ball and continue working a little bit um, but with one is plenty of uh, this type I don't know with other type how much you're gonna need okay so you're gonna need tapestry needle and scissors uh, something else I forgot to mention is that these bullet jars are 100 grams and they have 357 meter or th uh, 390 yards. So if you have any other bowl of jar, fine too, that they have the same measurements, you will have enough with one of these. If you have less meter in the bowl, and then you will need uh, more from another bowl, okay? To make yours the same size as mine. So we're going to start from here, from the tip, and we're going to increase as we work, and we're going to increase in the right side and in the wrong side, in both ends. So in each row that you will work, you'll have to increase at the beginning and at the end of the row. Okay, always. Back and forth, increasing in all of them. So it's very easy to keep track because even if you're working in the wrong side or the right side, in both ends, you'll do your increase. 
So it's very easy, very fast, and I have a really nice size. So let me measure from this, the beginning tip, tip to the end row to give you the measurements. I know um, a little bit zoom in, but it was to show you. So I measured 20 and a half inches. That is 52 centimeters. So I have a really nice um, size the shawl is not too big not too small so we're gonna start now casting our stitches and we're gonna start with three stitches I'm gonna start with the straight uh, thicker needle and I put this little rubber at the end that way it's not that noisy but after a while I will change to this one because I already had the two sizes on the cable so we're going to start leaving a tail long enough to cast on three stitches and to lose the tail. So you're going to start with a slip knot. So that counts as the first stitches. One, two, and three. You're going to do a knot with the tail to secure that stitch. Not too tight because this is a loose work. And you're going to start now netting with the smaller size needle. And this is the only row that you don't going to increase. So you're going to net those three stitches. One. two and three now we're going to start with the increase and in every single row you're going to increase at the beginning and end of the row so we're going to do a net and we're going to um, pass yarn to the front and in the same stitch we're going to do a pearl always in the same stitches at the beginning and at the end so you're going to come here and all the increases are done like this. You're going to start with the net. You don't going to uh, cast out that stitch from your needle. You're going to bring your to the front and in the same strand you're going to do a purl. Yarn to the back. You're going to net this one but in the back strand like this. You're going to net. Now yarn to the front. And this one here, you're going to do in that strand, you're going to do a pearl. You don't want to cast out the stitch, you're going to leave it there. And yarn to the back, and you're going to knit. And like that are the increases. Again, and we're going to work a one by one at the same time, one net, one pearl. So again, in the front strand here, you're going to knit. But you don't want to cast off the stitch, you're going to keep the stitch and then yarn to the front and on the same strand you're going to do a purl. And then after a purl what you do is a net. So yarn to the back, you're going to net in the back strand, always in the back. And then the next one is a purl. And net in the back strand again and always you have to grab this needle like this because uh, we're working a very loose stitch so it tend to come out, out of your work okay or fall off so a net so you have the last one after you do the net you bring yarn to the front you do a purl and in the same stitch you do a net so you start with the net and finish with the net. Okay, you can see that the tip started to form. Again, you're gonna start exactly the same, always, always exactly the same. And the first stitch, you're gonna start with the net. You don't gonna cast off the stitch, you keep the stitch there. You bring yarn to the front, 
and the same strand or the same stitch you're going to do a purl and then after the purl you do your net and the back strand and if you look at your work you can see which one are the net and which are the purl you see this one is a purl so you're going to purl that one and net a purl and net and all is in the back a strand of the net okay and then in the last one after you do the net in the last one you do a purl keeping the stitch yard to the back and you do a net and that stitch as well and you don't see the stitch as much now but as you work and you can see how nice it looks okay and this is the right side of the piece when you have you work on the thicker needle and you're working with a strand in the front that's the right side of your piece okay so again you're gonna start you see with a net keeping that stitch on your needle yarn to the front and you do a purl and now yarn to the back net in the back strand yarn to the front purl and as you work you can see which one are the purl and which are the nets okay it's very easy to keep track but as you always start like I'm showing you you keep with the one by one it's always one by one so a pearl you see and net and then and the last one you always uh, do a net before the last one, always, always. And then in that strand, you do a purl, keeping the stitch on the needle, yarn to the back, and you do a net. And again, you're going to do the same repetition. You're going to start with the increase at the beginning and increase at the end of each row. So again a little bit closer you can see much better now and the first of all is in this strand in the front you're gonna do your increase. You always gonna start always you have to uh, remember that when you put your piece down when you're gonna start your uh, row you start with a net you don't gonna cast off the stitch you're gonna keep the stitch yard to the front and do a purl and the same stitch. And then you move the stitch out. And then the next one, automatically, as a net. Okay, you see it's a net. You're going to continue with the net and a purl. One net. Then one purl. Then one by one rib. And all is in the back strand, okay? That's what gives the beautiful definition of the stitch as you work. Net, pearl, net, pearl, net. And if you do things right, the stitch before the last one is always a net stitch. Now in the last one you're going to do the increase, first you do a purl, and then you do a net. And that's the back of the shawl, 
and this is the front. You can see now the stitches. Okay, so again, you all start with the net stitch, yarn to the front to purl. Increase yard to the back and net, and then one net, one pearl. And you have to make sure that you always do the net in the back strand, otherwise, you'll be doing a regular one by one rib, and you don't want to have the nice uh, stitch definition in the front of your piece, okay? Otherwise, they will look the same. That's why I give it a nice open stitch on the front. So I net them up, pearl, I net them pearl, all the way until the end. All you have to remember is just a few things to remember. At the beginning and at the end of each round, you increase, and the next stitch you do them in the back strand. That's it. And you see the stitch before the last one is a net. And then now you do in the last one. A pearl and a net increase and like that is how you're going to continue working until you have the desired size and this is the front of your shawl and this I will show you one more time that way you guys can see exactly how I do it so always in the first one you do the increase and you start always with the net and we start removing that stitch and you're going to bring your to the front and in the same stitch you're going to do your pearl and you see the next stitch is a net so you're going to continue doing the stitch the pearl and the net and all is the net in the back strand regular pearl net in the back All the way until the end, and the the stitch before the last one is a net, and then the last one you do the increase. And so you're increasing in all the row. It's really easy. You don't have to be keep count or anything because uh, sometimes when you have to increase in one row and know in the next one, sometimes it's confusing and you have to keep track. With this one, you don't because you increase in all the rows, okay? And you continue with the one by one rib. In the back strand, always. And I'm gonna change now to the circular needle that way you can see how I do the change you don't have to do that you can continue with the straight needle if that's what you want you see the stitch before the last one and the back strand and then in the last one I'm gonna do the increase and like that you're gonna continue working your shoulder that's the back and this is the front Something that I wanted to mention is uh, that you don't have to change your um, shawl from a straight needle to circular needle. That's only if you want. It's your choice. And if you are doing them with a straight needle, I recommend the long straight needle. Because as you work, these get bigger and bigger and more stitches. And then it's more difficult to keep them with the short ones. I start with this short one because it's just for the video purpose. Um, because I don't want to do a lot of stitches on them. If you have a straight needle, uh, I recommend the long ones like this to work because it's going to be a lot of stitches. Now, 
if you have bamboo needles, I recommend to use bamboo because they are less slippery than the metal, bamboo or plastic. Um, because especially when you're working with a thinner needle, it's a little more slippery than the thicker one, okay? So you can do that work with um, bamboo or plastic. It's much easier. Uh, I'm going to change uh, to this one. That way you can see how I do the change, but you don't have to. You can continue with your straight needles, okay? So once you finish that row, you will continue now, you see, especially if you have the, the two of them in the same uh, cable, it will be easier. So you will continue working now with the thicker one back, uh, this row, and then with the thin, thinner one in the next row, and back and forth until you have the desired size of your shawl, okay? Like this, look as you progress uh, your work. And I love, love this stitch. It's one of my favorite knitted stitch. So this is the right side. And like this look. And the wrong side. Let me give a little bit of zoom in. That way you guys can see a little bit better. So that's the wrong side. It's the right side is absolutely gorgeous so like that you're going to continue working until you have the desired size so if you find that with one ball is not enough and then you grab the second ball and continue working until you have your uh, desired size so I will work on mine and I will give you the measurement once I finish and let you know if I use my second ball okay I'm about to finish my show and this is what I have left of my first ball of yarn. So with one ball of yarn is enough for the size that I want for my shawl. Now if you want your shawl bigger than mine, you will have to start working with a second ball of yarn. Okay, so 
Look, mine is like this. This is the, the border. And all the way out here. So when I start to cast off my stitches, all this will open up. So when you are ready to cast off or bind off your stitches, you have to make sure that you finish working with the smaller size needle and the tail is in the smaller size needle, like this. Now we're going to work with the bigger size needle and cast off the stitches with the bigger one. That way the stitches are nice and loose when you open your shawl. So if you want this bigger, so you will probably uh, work until the end of your yarn, attach the next ball, work for a few more uh, row back and forth, and then um, cast off or bind off. That is up to you. But for mine, I have enough, and then I will show you how to finish your show. Now to cast off or bind off your stitches, you know you are going to work them as you see them, exactly the same as you did the stitch. But this time we don't want to do the increase because we're finished. So the first one is a pearl because you didn't knit. Pass this out. I don't want this tangled up. So the first one is a pearl. You're gonna pearl that stitch. The second is a net. You're gonna knit that stitch in the back strand. And nice and loose. You're gonna pass the back the first stitch on top of the second one and cast it off. Jar to the front. You're gonna purl. So nice and loose. I'm not pulling um, my yarn or anything. The the more loose you have the stitch is the better. Okay, that way your shawl is nice and uh, open. So again, jar to the back. You're gonna knit the next stitch. And you're going to pass the second on top of that one. Yarn to the front. Pearl. And you're going to pass that one. And so on. Like that, you're going to continue all the way until the end of your show. Now what you have to do is lose the tail here at the end and the one at the beginning. So I will do that and I will show you the end result. This is the leftover that I have from that ball of yarn. So very little. And the size 
is a perfect size for a shawl. So I measure from this tip for them from the beginning to here. That will be the easiest way for you to measure when you're working. And I measure 88 centimeters, that's like 40, 34 and a half inches. So what you do when you're working, you'll gather this part in the needle and then try to measure through the border here if you're not using the same type of yarn as me. Because if you're using the same type of yarn, with one ball you have enough to do this shawl. And I love the size of the shawl. So it's very easy, simple, and it looks amazing. The stripe of this uh, yarn, you see, they look wider here, and then they start to get thinner and thinner until you have here just like one uh, row of each color. I absolutely love this show. So I hope you guys like it and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber. And if you make this show and you want to send me some pictures, you can do it through my Facebook page, Ruby Stemman Crochet, or my Instagram, Ruby Stemman Crochet. Please share my video with friends and family. That way you help me grow here on YouTube. I wish you a happy, beautiful day.